Alex and Dan. Hi. They have a podcast called Name This Podcast. Um, so you're going to give me around 20 seconds to run to my phone. Mm-hmm. And then 10 minutes will begin. And then Evan will join you as you prompt him, frankly. Okay, Amazing. right. Great. Sounds yeah. good. So I mean, you're saying Jonathan Rice is incredibly handsome, plays great music, and does I cruise? Spooky hot. Oof. Spooky hot. <laughs> uh, actually, Sorrow can go ahead. You can jump up here, man. Sorrow, get over here. Yeah. Oh. Yes, how about that performance, huh? Okay, ready? Yeah. Your 10 minutes starts yeah. now. Go. Uh, <laughs> I've never actually done this before. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> What did you do today? Uh, I had arguably the best day ever. I started with yoga, went to the Korean spa, and then I went surfing. I'm the biggest LA dickhead right now. And are you a straight white bro? I am indeed. So you probably have a podcast. Uh, correct, I do, and we are recording it for our very first live podcast for our listeners at home. We are here at Chiatella. The I arena am, is full. It's amazing. I'm out here at main stage. It is hot. I'm looking at 10,000 adoring fans. You can hear them oh, screaming. They it's nearly overwhelming. That was actually really cool. The energy is electric. And uh, Sorrow just... Let's give it up to the, tour- the top up there. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, there you oh, go. The, the balcony seats. You know, you guys didn't pay that much, but it's, it's okay. Sorrow just tore the frickin' roof off, and we are stoked to have him sitting oh, beside us. Hey. What's going on? Uh, not much, man. Hey, I, I gotta tell you, the, the voice was angelic with a sense of urgency. Your stage presence was beautiful, and I've never seen anyone fumble a water bottle and recover it with so much grace. Have you done that before? Do you drink Mm -hmm. alkaline? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. What's your pH level? Um, seven. It should be 9.5. Correct. Oh. (laughs) 9.5? Correct. Um, how long have you been a silver hair bro? Um, ever since Cisco inspired me. Mm, Sick. So, so Cisco, not Drew Hill. (laughs) <laughs> that's a, that's a vintage 1999 joke. I, I got it. About. It's good. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, or fashion gray. I, I hear that one a lot too. It's like you're young and old. It's like I'm you're just age trying neutral. to be a grandpa ma. It's a good look. How long have you been a uh, silver fox daddy? Like two weeks. Yeah, and it seems to be working it's out working for you quite out. well. Yeah. They booked you for main stage at Chiatella. They did. It's What's your pre show ritual? Tell me. Masturbating and then Where? meditating. Where did you do it? Do you cuff one really? Um, yeah, but like earlier in the day, I just have oh, to like yeah. get that energy out so that mm-hmm. I don't bring so much sexual energy on stage. Right, right. There's a lot of space in try to tell the jack off. I feel like. I know. I was kind of. I'm placed down too. How many people do you think have <laughs> masturbated? Oh my god, I can see a couple right now that look like they did. I mean, those seats are all empty. You know that now uh-huh. when 6 p.m. hits, they're like, "Where's my room?" Yeah. I like to practice a lot of uh, alliteration, like exercises before okay. we have to do one of these. Yeah. And my favorite one recently has been brown background, black background, because when you screw it up, it sounds like it could be like a DJ fill of brown background, black background, brown black 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 brown black black brown brown black black brown black. Did you think that was gonna go better? That was terrible. Y- you know, you, you miss every shot you don't take. Uh, so. Tell me about your strangest fan experience. Um, there was this guy one time that grabs my ass and then he DM'd Pod. me and was like, I really think we had a moment. Like, I think we should date or something. And I was just like, what the fuck? Where were at what? Where was I? How was that? Grabbed your ass while you were on stage? Or no, was... it was at the merch booth. Sorry, it was at the merch booth after. Weren't you sitting? No. I was like standing, talking to people. Do you feel you might be a little too, you know, post-show, you're, you're pretty vulnerable if you're at your merch booth. At what stage does an artist officially like, not, not anymore, too close to the fans? True, I don't know. I think maybe like Beyonce level? I guess. I don't think Beyonce's got a merch booth. That's true, she has a merch like the, empire. Yeah. yeah, they say the only ones that know the edge are the ones who have gone over it. So you've yet to go over the falls, my friend. God damn it. <laughs> Um, so you're from Calabasas. You're Agora royalty adjacent. Yes. Uh, is the overall goal 
to be taking sorrow. Sorrow's going to take back Calabasas from Kanye. Is that the plan? That's the plan. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people are going to be like, I live in Calabasas, and they're like, that's where sorrow's from. Um, <laughs> not Drake or, or Kanye or Bieber, whoever the fuck else. I heard you mention that you dabble in the psychedelics. When's the last time you took LSD? Oh my god. Shit. Is I anything the off the table? Song. I should have no, asked no, no, you that. We before. can talk about that. Um, it's been a while. Oh my god. When was the first time you took it? How old were you? Uh, were you wearing? Uh, How old were you? Uh, what were you wearing? What? That's what I just said. Oh, I, I just <laughs> said that. Sorry, sorry. I was at um, Outside Lands like three or four years ago. It was really fun. Give it up for San Francisco, am I right, guys? Oh! <laughs> what were you wearing? <laughs> Probably what, some, what was that experience? Probably something did, terrible. Did, did you trip as hard as Arya? Did the uh, did you disagree with the porta potty situation? I definitely had a porta potty moment. I could not go inside, so I peed on like a fence instead, and it like got on my feet. And I think I was wearing flip flops, so like it was, it was all bad. That's your first mistake. I, you right can't there. go into a porta potty when you're on drugs. It's like it feels like you're gonna be eaten. Sometimes though, it kind of like helps you feel it. You didn't know that you're on anything until you go in and you're like, oh shit, that acid does work. By the time I pee, it's always like so far to the trip that I don't want to feel it anymore. True, true. I'm like, I don't need anything to jumpstart this. Like, it's already, I'm already going. Bad drugs. Allie, I, I want you to walk me through your, the moment you were in a urinal and like, you know, drugs and it really jumpstarted the experience for you. I guess when I did a bump of coke. <laughs> That'll do it. I'm just joking, I don't do drugs. Uh, drugs are bad. I overheard that you're going to be playing Pride Fest this year. I am, yes. That's fucking awesome. What so, stage? I, I was, mm-hmm. was going to ask, I don't know what... It's th- funny because I don't really know the layout of Pride either, but I do know that I'm playing the main stage. Right. Um, and it's also, like, maybe not announced yet, so, like, shh. So, like, so, like can you, like, hook dude, up an artist podcast or what? this live, dude. <laughs> Just for you. Cool. Why do you think oat milk is so popular? Oh my god. The real questions. We're all wondering it. Come on. I don't know. I, 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 it's just scarcity. What's your alternative milk choice? Um, chocolate almond milk. With your coffee? You I'm just fuck? No, no, no. Like your in, sugar my, in my smoothies, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm a that's sugar great. Fiend. Are you? I am. <clears throat> I am. How, um. Speaking. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna ask it. How does Bitcoin work? <laughs> fuck. I don't know. Um, Are you a Bitcoin or an Ethereum guy? Which one hit you harder funny. when that crash actually, happened last year, February? <laughs> I discovered Bitcoin like before it was a big thing, and I'm like a fucking idiot for not buying it. Because I was like, cash the fuck out. I didn't. I didn't buy any of it. I saw it and I was like, this is really fucking dumb, and yeah. I didn't do it. You know what? You can torment yourself over and over again with I zigged when I should have zagged, but. You know what? We're here now, and every decision of your life has brought you to this very moment. That goes for all of you, so I think we can all be pretty happy about that, huh? <laughs> totally. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> hey, hey, it's been great. Should I tell it every year? Uh, what's your definition of a podcast? Um, Is it a state of mind? Something I can fall asleep to. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a <laughs> Yeah, we, I, I had to shade you guys. Blood, I had to. Dude, you know they thought really that hard. we were going to be closing the show. You know, it's cool. We're the headliners, okay? You went like mid show. Are we the last You're one? You're right. <laughs> this is it. Your name is bigger Offices than mine. Offices are closed. Yeah. People are jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're not. <laughs> I thought it was way more provocative if the J-O was during business hours. Now once it closes up, a lot of places to hide. We know, we went through it. There's a lot of office space here. Um, Okay, so tell us about a secret project. Secret project. What's secret? Uh, uh, No, I don't know, nothing. Moving on. Some pornos that I've shown, (laughs) I'm just kidding. Do you think a sex tape will help or I break your career? I hope that none ever leak, honestly, but I'm like ready for that to happen. Do you film them? It's like you don't want them to leak, but you keep putting them out. You know what I mean? You just want someone to watch. It's like, I thought that Tumblr was private, but... Uh-huh. Do you ever airdrop nasty things when you're in public? No. But it doesn't I, have to I be personal. I kind of wish that that happened to me more often. That's never happened? Like sitting on a subway and then just like a random... Like, blah! That's a fun game to play. You should always have like a go-to photo if you're, uh, if you're in public. Okay, now uh, we got one... Okay, 
Wait, so, what is snapping? Oh. Rapid fire questions. Oh, shit. Um, Alex and I are going to go back and forth. You got about five seconds are to answer Jules these. Are so just... overrated or underrated? Overrated. Is Mac DeMarco, is Mac DeMarco the hipster's Jimmy Buffett? Yes, I love him. Uh, electric scooters, are they a means of transportation or a fucking lifestyle? Uh, I hate them so much. Birds, limes, or have you ever rolled one? The other day I saw one in a river and I was like, fuck yes. Is Coachella ever really over? No. I'm just kidding, it's totally going down the drains. Weekend three, bitch. Um, is universal basic income, what the, what? the answer to artificial intelligence? Uh, I wrote that one. No further questions. <laughs> Andrew Yang, 2020. What is the next fashion trend for summer 2019? Those like necklaces that make your neck really long. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, like, Pull. In, I'm like into it. communities that kind of like have Exactly, yes. <laughs> Wow, he is cultured. Do <laughs> <laughs> you got one, Alex? Is wearing a Thrasher t-shirt, if you don't skate, cultural, appro cultural appropriation? Definitely. <laughs> Thanks. What's better than a Coors Light? A Natty Light. Wrong! <laughs> Another Wrong. Coors Light. Another one. Oh. Another one. All right. Um, well, shit. Do you have anything you want to ask ask? Have you guys ever masturbated together? Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Alex and I have been friends since we were 13 years so? old. And it was only until last year that we had sex in relatively the same room side by side with girls. But, but boy did I wish there was no wall there and I could look at you. Fast forward to just last month, we made out on video. For a, for a comedy for sketch. Comedy, you know? But oh, you figure it wouldn't sweet. have taken that long for two bros to make out with each other because, you know. Yeah, usually I mean, just plus, some we were light. It was, it was just you and I in the ocean. It was so romantic. And like the, really the nice. sun looked really good. And you're, mm -hmm. all that. Can you guys airdrop it to face. me, please? I want to see. And I got to see. I won't warn you before I do. Uh, we uh, just cool. have one final question for you. What would, would you, you name, name this, this podcast? podcast? Okay. Okay. I think office hour jerk off. Yeah. The best. Very good. Guys, give it up. What a performance. Thank give you it so up for Aria. Give it up for Shai. Give it up to the Staples Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it up. Uh, we'll we'll see, see you next week on Name This Podcast. podcast. <laughs> when you ask HR why I lost my job, it was because we discussed masturbation in the workplace at length. <laughs>